I'm here in Seattle, Washington. It's February and this is the grand opening of a place called Icebox. I, I'm not sure where this place is, so I've been walking up and uh, there's, you have trucks and uh, there's a sign out front. Not sure really where this is. And it's the Stern Army Iron Maiden Launch Party. So Iron Maiden's in here. I haven't played it yet. Really excited. I guess this is it. Little uh, line bike there. And then uh, some artwork. AstroTurf on the ground. Oh, what's this? We have a putter. Some, a lot of big, big target to shoot at. Smoking area. And it's open for all ages. So kids can stop in after school during the summer or whatever they want to do. All right, this place is looking pretty good. We got the ice box up top. You see that? They said they have 20 pins. There's Iron Maiden right there. I'm going to show them all the way. Classics like a Flash Gordon. Eight ball to walk means the table is done. It'll get there in time. Just opened up. Star Wars pinball. Roadshow with Ted and Red. Rain Lizard's getting worked on. Oh yeah, they have a the event coming up. Uh, pinball for pups. They'll show up uh, a whole lot of places supporting this. It's pretty cool. They have the Adams Family. It's in relatively good shape. Light dark. We can use some LEDs. They have a whole lot of stuff here. So Whirlwind, Terminator, Ridgewell. Artwork's in great shape. It just opened. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. This one doesn't have the LED light on top, but it still looks good in good condition. Look at that. Look how shiny this is. Look at this. The D and D is really bright. I like it. Uh, in comparison to Elvira Valley, so. Most of these are LEDs. Some of the other ones have LEDs that want to keep going. Family guy. Golden 007. Junkyard. It's actually on virtual pin, believe it or not. Junkyard. So that's kind of cool. We'll do a small pan across the room. Tile walls. So they don't have any electromechanicals that I can see right now, but uh, everything's in really good shape and most games are working. Here's Donkey Kong Jr., Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, all kinds of pretty girls playing this machine. Let's see. Here's the, probably the oldest one in here, it's a silver ball. This little way it's made by Valleys. And uh, I don't see a copyright on here. Let's see. Right, Silver Mania. Ford's a great shape on this game. There's Hurricane. This one's really big over at Flip Flip Game Day right here in town. So Williams, of course. Here's Evil to Evil. This is rare. This is about as rare as an Elton John game. Across three bad Jimmy's, which is uh, they're doing four for a dollar now. 
fishtails, a little redone with the LED. It's really bright. Look at the artwork on the side. I mean, these games get pushed up against each other eventually on the side of the scar. That's it. This is really digital. This is called Truck Style. I don't know if you've seen it. We're going to get to some of the more unique games in a minute. And then, uh, of course, Blackout. I mean, you can't miss this game. It's a classic. Everybody loves this game. It's a most turning. And the artwork is really cool. Notice the coin door is silver. Most games are black. Okay, multiple versions of Star Trek. This is the one with the uh, flux capacitor knockoff, I call it. It's app. It's pretty cool and it has, you know, all kinds of the classic. Uh, the game, the boards are looking really good with the, the original cats. That's really awesome. I hear William Shatner is going to be at the uh, Comic Con in Phoenix in 2017. Twilight Zone. Again, the boards are really clean. Everything looks really good. Okay, $1.20. Seems to be the neighborhood special. We have the Shadow, DCS, Grand Champion, and of course, Johnny Mnemonic. Okay, as we make our way around the circle, they have a special treat for everyone involved. We gain it. This is the infamous Killer Queen system. So rather than a back-to-back -back setup, they have a side-to-side. -side. It's very similar to Bonus Round in Phoenix. If you haven't played in a Killer Queen tournament, I highly recommend you do it. So I've got two guys, uh, Josh and Nikita. Josh and Nikita. And they're actually uh, selling these pretty quick. I think the lead time's like two months to get one or something like that. Either way, it's really a lot of fun to play in tournaments. As you can tell, so you can get about 10 people to play this game at one time. And then they have happy hours. So let's check out this board. Happy hour specials, right? Five to seven. All day Monday. Boom. Leap Sunday. Then they have the pinball for pups flyer. This is going to be a big event in Seattle. It's the right time of year to get your dog out and check it. They also have an early bird pinball tournament every Thursday at 7.30. Free entry and a prize for first place. Also known as the Icebox is where we're at, so... This is Ted signing off from the Icebox.